Hello friends, welcome to C Programming Video Tutorials series. From the past few video tutorials, we are trying to understand pointers in C. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss pointer to one dimensional array in C. We understand how to create a pointer to one dimensional array. We know that pointer is a variable which holds the address of another memory location. Instead of holding the actual value, pointer variables hold address of another memory location. We know that array is a contiguous collection of homogeneous data elements. Homogeneous means similar type of. Array is a collection of similar type of data elements stored in a contiguous memory locations guys. We know how to declare and initialize one dimensional arrays. The syntax for declaring and initializing a one dimensional array is we write data type space, we write array name, in pair of square brackets, we write size of the array equal to, in pair of flower brackets, we write list of values separated by comma, then we say semicolon. For example, int numbers of 5 equal to, in pair of flower brackets, we write 5 integer values separated by comma, then we say semicolon, which indicates numbers is a one dimensional array which can hold 5 integer values, guys. Let me go to code block and declare and initialize this numbers array. I minimize the word, I double click on code blocks icon to launch the code blocks IDE. You can see that code blocks IDE is launched, I am going to create one new project. I say file, new, project. I select here projects, say console application, say go. Then I say next, I select C language, I say next. Then I give the project name pointer to 1D array demo, I say next, say finish. You can see that a pointer to 1D array demo project is created. I click on the plus sign. I double click on main.c to open. You can see that main.c file is open. I am going to delete this line of code which is not necessary. I delete this line of code which is not necessary. Here I say int numbers of 5 equal to in pair of flower brackets I say 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma 4 comma 5 then I say semicolon. We already know what happens when this line of code is executed. We know that computer goes to its memory. It allocates 5 memory locations contiguously, each of size 4 bytes. Right guys? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. We know that arrays follow 0 based indexing. So the first memory location is going to have the index 0. Next memory location is going to have the index 1. Next memory location is going to have the index 2. Next memory location is going to have the index 3. Next memory location is going to have the index 4, 0 to 4 total 5 memory locations. Let's assume first memory location has the address hash 20. Next memory location is going to have the address hash 24 because for integers computer allocates 4 bytes of memory location. Next memory location is going to have the address hash 28. Next memory location is going to have the address hash 32. Next memory location is going to have the address hash 36. 20 plus 4 is 24, 24 plus 4 is 28, 28 plus 4 is 32, 32 plus 4 is 36. That is our numbers array. And numbers, that is our array name, is implicitly a pointer variable, guys, which holds address of first memory location of the array, that is hash 20. Numbers is implicitly a pointer which points to the first memory location of the array or first element of the array. It is an implicit pointer guys. Numbers of 0 is initialized with a value 1. Numbers of 1 is initialized with a value 2. Numbers of 2 is initialized with a value 3. Numbers of 3 is initialized with a value 4. Numbers of 4 is initialized with a value 5 guys. That's what happens inside the memory when this line of code is executed guys. We can access each element of the array. Let's understand how do we access each element of the array. There are two different ways in which we can access each element in an array using array name and its index. There are two different ways in which we can access each element in an array using array name and its index guys. The first way is subscript notation. The second way is using pointer notation. The subscript notation is we write array name in pair of square brackets we write index of the element guys. For example, if I say numbers of 0, it gives the value of numbers of 0th memory location. Numbers of 0th memory location value is 1 guys, right? 
I go to code block. I say here printf in double quotations. I say percentage d backward slash n comma. I say here numbers of zero semicolon. Definitely we will get here one. I am going to copy this line of code paste four times. One, two, three, four. Numbers of one, numbers of two, numbers of three, numbers of four. We'll get here two, three, four, and five. If I say build and run, it displays one, two, three, four, five. I hope you guys have clearly understood how do we access elements of array using subscript notation. I say here print f in double quotations. I say backward slash n semicolon. Next notation is pointer notation, guys. The syntax is we write star in pair of parentheses. We write the array name plus index of the element, guys. For example, star numbers plus zero returns value of numbers of zero to memory location, guys. I go to code block. I say here print f in double quotations. I say percentage d backward slash n comma. In pair of parentheses, we write the array name then we say plus zero that is index of the element prefix with star symbol which indicates star star indicates value at guys semicolon when we write star numbers plus zero implicitly this expression is expanded to star numbers plus zero multiplied by four guys why i told you that if you write pointer variable name plus an integer value implicitly the integer value is multiplied by size of the type of the pointer variable guys size of type of pointer variable here numbers is of type integer and size of integer is 4 so 0 is multiplied by 4 guys i am going to copy this line of code paste four times 1 2 3 and 4 here i say 1 2 3 and 4 numbers plus 1 is implicitly expanded to numbers plus 1 multiplied by 4 numbers plus 2 is implicitly expanded to numbers plus 2 multiplied by 4 numbers plus 3 is implicitly expanded to numbers plus 3 multiplied by 4 numbers plus 4 is implicitly expanded to numbers plus 4 multiplied by 4 and the expression is evaluated guys 0 into 4 0 1 into 4 is 4 2 into 4 is 8 3 into 4 is 12 4 into 4 is 16 the value of numbers value of numbers is hash 20 guys numbers is hash 20 numbers is hash 20 value of numbers is hash 20 value of numbers is hash 20 value of numbers is hash 20 20 plus 0 is 20 20 plus 4 is 24 20 plus 8 is 28 20 plus 12 is 32 20 plus 16 is 36 then it displays value at hash 20 memory location value at hash 20 memory location is 1 guys it displays here 1 value at hash 24 is 2 value at hash 28 is 3 value at hash 32 is 4 value at hash 36 is 5 value at hash 36 is 5 you can see that so that is how this expression is evaluated and the value of the given memory location is displayed guys if i say build and run it displays 1 2 3 4 5 i close it i hope you guys have clearly understood how do we access elements of the array using subscript notation and pointer notation i hope you guys have clearly understood let's proceed further and get more information i see here printf in double quotations backward slash n backward slash n semicolon i am adding two blank lines here next let's understand how do we create pointer to 1d array the syntax for declaring and initializing pointer to one dimensional array is we write a data type space we write the pointer variable name prefix with star symbol guys equal to we store address of an array element guys for example int star iptr equal to ampersand numbers of 
we are storing address of the first element of the array inside iptr guys here iptr is a pointer variable which can hold address of another memory location right guys i go to code block i say here int star iptr equal to ampersand numbers of zero semicolon what happens when this line of code is executed of course computer goes to its memory it allocates one more memory location of size 4 bytes to that memory location it gives the name iptr inside that memory location it stores address of numbers of zero which is hash 20 and once we store address inside a pointer variable it starts pointing to that memory location iptr points to the memory location which has the address hash 20 guys if you carefully observe numbers is a pointer variable which has hash 20 iptr is also pointer variable which has hash 20 we can access elements of the array again using the pointer variable in two different ways guys there are two different ways in which we can access each element in an array using pointer name and its index the first way is subscript notation and the second way is using pointer notation guys of course we can write pointer name in pair of square brackets we can write the index of the element for example if i say iptr of 0 it displays the value of iptr of 0 or value of numbers of 0 guys let me go to code block i say here print f in double quotations i say percentage d backward slash n i say comma i say here iptr of 0 semicolon instead of writing numbers of 0 i'm saying here iptr of 0 that's it definitely we will get here one i'm going to copy this line of code paste four times 1 2 3 and 4 here i say iptr of 1 iptr of 2 iptr of 3 iptr of 4 we will get here 2 3 4 and 5 if i say build and run it displays 1 2 3 4 5 guys i close it i say here print f double quotations backward slash n semicolon let's display elements of array using pointer notation we write star in pair of parentheses we write the pointer name plus index guys for example if i say star iptr plus 0 it displays the value of numbers of 0 guys i go to code block i say here print f in double quotations i say percentage d backward slash n comma in pair of parentheses i write iptr plus 0 prefix with star symbol semicolon as i told if you write this expression implicitly it is expanded to star iptr plus 0 multiplied by 4 because the given integer value is multiplied by size of the pointer variable type here pointer variable is of type integer and size of integer is 4 our integer value is multiplied by 4 guys i am going to copy this line of code paste four times 1 2 3 and 4 here i say 1 2 3 and 4 implicitly iptr plus 1 is expanded to iptr plus 1 multiplied by 4 iptr plus 2 is expanded to iptr plus 2 multiplied by 4 iptr plus 3 is expanded to iptr plus 3 multiplied by 4 iptr plus 4 is expanded to iptr plus 4 multiplied by 4 guys a uh, 0 into 4 is 0 1 into 4 is 4 2 into 4 is 8 3 into 4 is 12 4 into 4 is 16 the value of iptr value of iptr is hash 20 guys value of iptr is hash 20 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 hash 20 plus 0 is hash 20 hash 20 plus 4 is hash 24 hash 20 plus 8 is hash 28 hash 20 plus 12 is hash 32 hash 20 plus 16 is hash 36 we are displaying here value at hash 20 memory location value at hash 20 memory location is 1 it displays here 1 guys value at hash 24 is 2 value at hash 24 is 
value at hash 28 is 3 value at hash 32 is uh, 4 value at hash 36 is 5 that's how the expression is evaluated and executed if i say build and run it displays 1 2 3 4 5 guys i hope you guys have clearly understood how do we create a pointer to one dimensional array and how do we access members of an array using pointer variable and the element index guys i hope you guys have clearly understood i think for this video tutorial this much is enough friends i suggest you people to watch this video again and again understand everything clearly try the code yourself experiment with more examples in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about pointers in c programming language for more benefits and be up to date please subscribe to my youtube channel don't forget to like comment and share these videos with others so that everyone will get benefited keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial